Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nilaus and I'm coming back to you with a masterclass. This is a absolute beautiful design. Look at all these blinking lights. Well, they, I, you know what? I can just turn off those warnings. There we go. Now you won't even see it. So what I'm going to do in this uh, episode is I am going to solve one of those really annoying problems we have. When we are sort of stuck in the mid game, I have shown you how to get the yellow signs, the red signs to get that started. I didn't actually do the blue signs because, well, we did that during our starter hop. But at some point, you're going to have to go into the purple signs. <clears throat> and when you start breaking this down, well, the processes, that's fine. We have we probably have done that already, but then it has to you break it down to the particle broadband and that needs nanotubes and plastic and crystal silicon things. Well, yeah, it's crystal silicons and they are all things that you haven't built. So I propose that well, how about we make a design that just uh, has the objective to make two purple signs per second. So we need two towers, 10 high. I am going to use these Mark II assemblers. They have speed one, that makes it easy to calculate, but also because you're not gonna have the Mark III's yet at this point uh, in the game. So what I have just start breaking it down. This one will need two, and if I want two per second, then I need four per second of the processors that's here. And they will need some crystalline silicon, whatever this weird annoying thing that has only one use, microcrystalline component, and use some circuits as well. Then we go on the other side. This will need the particle broadband. The particle broadband needs some nanotubes. They need some fractal silicon. The nanotubes can be done either with an automatic recipe like the that one, but at this point, since you don't have warpers, I can't expect that you have some spiny form lying around anywhere. So we have to make it with a complicated recipe that is titanium and graphene. So that means we need to make graphene. Graphene is also really annoying in the beginning because it also needs sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is also something you can't just mine, but it's gonna be super easy to mine when you get beyond the first star system. So in this case, I am actually going to say you're gonna make that separately because as soon as you get your warpers, you're gonna be uh, replacing that with just something in mind. So if I incorporate the sulfuric acid into this overall design, then it will first of all be too big and it'll be completely irrelevant after the first iteration. So make a separate uh, sulfuric acid production line and then feed it in plastic though plastic used for so few things that we are going to make it as part of this design and then of course because we need that from the refined oil we're going to make refined oil so this breaks it down and then i'm going to look up here i've set, highlighted all the ingredients i need inbound i need oil inbound i will have some hydrogen outbound i need graphite graphite sulfuric acid silicon titanium and on the other side i need more silicon copper and iron and then on top of that I will be having the purple signs outbound. So let me show you how I've done this. There is a, if I, I've, I've contemplated how to do this in the best possible way. And uh, I've decided that I, instead of me designing it, I'm going to activate one little part of it uh, at once. And then we'll talk about how it works. So the first part, uh, first part here is that we need to make sure that we add, I hope this works. We are going to add the crude oil coming in here and then we're going to have a look at what this part is my objective for this design you can kind of see it it is that the design is slim that means if once you build this and you want more than two signs per second then you can simply just stamp this blueprint down the blueprint is less than 3000 entities and i'll provide it at of course it provided in the link in the description below so what we can see we're doing here these are producing okay they're kind of loud oil comes in gets split three ways into these. This splitter here is making sure that the hydrogen flows through. I uh, almost never use elevated belts. I prefer to have things in line and uh, with these splitters you can actually do as I'm doing here. This will provide the refined oil that we need for the next phase into the plastic. So in order to activate the plastic we are going to activate... Uh, okay, click the right one, that one. We are going to get some graphite in here. That will be coming in the graphite will be coming on this belt out here and going into the middle making plastic only two plastic per second it's not actually very much but that's because only two plastic goes into two particle broadband and two particle broadband goes into two blue science as well you can see here the plastic will go down here and move into the next stage moving further down the line and we'll forget about it for now but it'll start stockpiling the graphite though is coming through and then also passing through into the next part. This is where we need to make the 
uh, the graphene. Uh, there is a tiny bit of <laughs> sulfuric acid still in here because I've uh, tested it before starting, but we are going to let it go and then uh, get the sulfuric acid in so we can have a look at what happens down here with graphene. The graphene here is... Well, there we go. Now it's not. Now it's again not working, as is it. The, gra the sulfuric acid here will be coming in in boxes on these lines and filling up starting the actual graphene production the graphene production goes out here gets collected from that line and from this line goes in here this one is a pass-through where we will then pick, get all the graphene coming into this location this is in the big part of making the making the nanotubes and nanotubes is an ingredient for the particle broadband which is again a particle and a subcomponent for the purple science and all of these you can see here I make six of these here, I make because that's what we calculated over on this side. I need six and then I need nine here. And I need eight of the uh, of the nanotube builders. Nanotubes require two things. So the next thing we want to add is over on this tower here. The titanium. That might be a bit of an issue with the titanium. Nope. No issue with oh yeah, I actually did that. Okay, never mind. Let me just see if I can do that. Okay, they're coming in remote. So I will just wait until we get the titanium coming in on this belt. And here comes the titanium. The titanium is coming in. I've also waited until we are sort of uh, end of the night. There's still a bit left on the night, but uh, that should give us some time during the daylight for the rest of it. So what we're building here is now taking the graphene that we have uh, we have built under under much duress, I guess, here. It's really difficult. And then we finally get the nanotubes that we need. These nanotubes are going out on this belt and they go down on the side. I've marked these belts so you can see the plastic and now the nanotubes. Now at this point, if we look back on our requester, we have now requested everything that we can. We don't have anything else available. I'm assuming that you have all these things available on your starter planet. Otherwise, I mean, you can get it in from secondary planet in the same system. Titanium is on the secondary planet. Uh, this is here. This you can build on your home planet. So you have all this stuff available. But you're going to need more inbounds. So this is secondary tower is here to supplement with additional things. The first thing we want to do with now it is a matter of making processors. So let's start by making the assembly. Uh, sorry, the circuits. That means we're going to get some copper and we're going to get some iron inbound. Please work. Oops, I did it wrong. I should have requested local. Damn it. Request local? Um, there, I want to request it locally because then it comes in a lot faster. I also don't want to have you there. All right, so that is now coming in. We can see that they're going in and here is a production facility for circuits, another one here. This is This one is able to feed these three and this one feeds these three and it's a very nice compact build. The only thing we're missing in order to get the whole thing done is to get the microcrystalline components and the stuff we need for that. We have the copper already coming in. You can see here on the middle belts, they are just really complicated, but all of that is already taken care of in the blueprint, so no need to worry. We will then request some additional silicon. The silicon will go down on the middle belt because it'll be picked up by the these assemblers for the microcrystalline and then from there on it'll actually also pass through and then we'll uh, go into this build here which will make this fractal silicon and we can see that it's already coming in it is starting to work and we are getting the first processors the processors go out here on this side so that will go straight into our final product and then we start looking at the stuff that we have already collected. We have collected the carbon nanotubes and the plastic. Those are needed for the final product, the final uh, sub product here. You can see we are getting things in and they are making also the crystalline fractal, fractal silicon. That's what it's called, not crystalline. And we now have the plastic, uh, sorry, let's start with the carbon nanotubes in and go through here in and go over there inbound. These are making sure that I pass through the fractal silicon. Crystal silicon, damn it. Crystal fractal silicon, whatever. And the plastic goes in all the way from the other side and then merges back in there and back in there. And then we still have the outputs. The outputs are coming in right here. That's the output and that's the output. And there's the last output. They will merge into a single line 
and feed into the final product we have that is the purple science build which will then on one side take the processors in and on the other side take the fiber optical particle broadband yes and it'll take a bit of time for it to fully saturate all this but as long as you keep keep everything filled in then you will get your two purple signs per second and that will come in here and be available here i am uh, there is one space left so in this case i am just saying hey this is a great place and location to put in some warpers because well why not just put in some warpers here and that will just uh That'll just help if you need to warp this out somewhere else. But of course, for the beginning, you don't need this one. And this is what you have. And you now have your information matrix, your purple science available and uh, ready to pick up somewhere, either on this planet or on another planet that you can then use for uh, together with the red science we built, the blue science and the yellow science that we also built. So that will be all of it. And the beauty of this blueprint is that it doesn't take so much space. So you can in one of these middle sections of the planet you can actually have a uh, plenty of room for it if you look at it it takes one two well it's like one two three four squares and then a bit on each side so i don't actually think there's room for three of them next to each other there might be but there's definitely room for two of them next to each other in this uh, space and i guess that's that's kind of the end of uh, of, of this tutorial we can just let it go and uh, you can step this down as soon as you are ready to make the purple signs and then you have two signs per second if you want more just stand down two of them it is super easy all you need to do is get the get the ingredients in and they are basic ingredients that you already have the only exception is of course the sulfuric acid but that is uh, something you're going to be well you're going to have to build it anyway uh, on your starter base so with that uh, i just want if you have enjoyed it if you find it useful educational then uh, be sure to like the video and also share it with other people if they might need it, of course. And if you are new to the channel, then consider subscribing. I will be making a lot more content for various base building games as they come and go. And uh, as long as they have sufficient depth to make awesome designs like these ones. And of course, keep an eye out because there will also be a green science build and probably maybe also some of the other components that are super complicated. Maybe rockets, maybe quantum chips. I don't know. That's up to you. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see more of. And then the final thing is, of course, if you want to support the channel and the work I do here, beyond, of course, subscribing and commenting and liking, then uh, you're, there is a link to a Patreon uh, account. If you want to support there, then I'd be very happy. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care. And as always, stay effective.